The impact that Terry Hughes has made on the students of Bartlesville Public Schools is beyond measure. Coach Hughes began making Bartlesville his hometown early on when he moved to Bartlesville after elementary school and became a Madison Mustang during his junior high years. Hughes was a standout athlete amongst a solid athletic class of students and graduated from Sooner High in 1978. During his high school years, Hughes played point guard for Hall of Fame coaches Joe Holliday and Doug Tolan, and first base for Hall of Fame coach Tug Vaughn and Carl Brooks. During the 1977 basketball season, the Spartans beat top-ranked Oklahoma City Northeast on their way to the state semifinals and reached the quarterfinals his senior year. On the baseball field, Hughes was a member of the state runner-up 1977 Dungeons Ford Indians as well as the 1978 state championship team. The 1978 team beat Oklahoma City Reynolds in the championship game and advanced to regionals in Shreveport. He moved on to play first base and guard for Bartlesville Wesleyan College's baseball and basketball teams. Hughes had over a thousand points and a thousand assists during his college basketball career and earned all conference honors for both sports. Coach Hughes began his teaching career in 1983 at Ranch Heights Elementary and moved to Madison Middle School in 1986, which is when he began coaching football, basketball, and golf. That the ninth grade freshman basketball team was your favorite team you ever played on because remember we went skiing at Christmas and uh, made a conscious decision to do that instead of showing up for Christmas practice. And we did that knowing that when we got back, we were going to be suspended for a game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm sure thought in the back of our minds that he wouldn't stick with that because they didn't need me, but they really (laughs) needed you. And, you know, we were undefeated and, and, and at the risk of that record, um, he sat us. Yeah. And it wasn't that we were in street clothes at the end of the bench. No. We were suspended. Yeah. We were in the audience. Right. And that was extremely uncomfortable. Yeah. But it and taught I, a lesson. It did, and I never wanted to do that again. Hughes taught at Madison until 2012, and in 2011, he became the Bruins' assistant athletic director, which is a title he still holds. Over the years, Hughes has taken 17 of the 24 girls' golf teams he's coached to the state tournament. He wanted us to practice not just the physical aspects of golf, of swinging and that type of thing, but he wanted us to be well-rounded with the mental game as well. One thing he would always say is, your brain doesn't process the negative. So if you say, don't hit it in the water, your brain hears water and it'll go straight into the water. And also being in the moment and you can't change the past. So if you hit a bad shot, it's over. There's nothing else you can do about it. Move on to the next one, and what can you do next? During five of the seven years in which the team did not qualify for state, they still had individual golfers who qualified. As the assistant athletic director, Coach Hughes has watched nine Bruin teams win state championships, with multiple individuals winning state championships as well. Hughes' parents, Larry and Mary Hughes, instilled and supported a love for games and sports, and always kept them in perspective. Sports were supposed to be hard, but fun, even though the hard work did not always feel like fun. They taught Hughes that the result of an athletic endeavor never defined him, nor raised or lowered his value as a person. Um, my, my dad passed away a couple years ago, and, you know, Coach, you know, Facebook, there's all kinds of stuff sure. that you, you get, and, and it's all very meaningful, but... But he went out of his way to, to talk about my dad, my parents as sports parents mm-hmm. who were supportive of him as a coach. And, and again, all those little things mean a lot. Again, much more than helping me shoot a jump shot, yeah. uh, but, but just life skills and, and, and the way to treat people. His wife, Julie, has always been a great coach's wife. Terry and Julie have four children, and she has always been supportive of his career while working a full-time job carting around four kids to their practices, cleaning their uniforms, cooking, and being an all-around superhero. Tonight, it is our honor to induct Terry Hughes into the Bartlesville Athletic Hall of Fame.